Yeah. Yarinov, for example, who was a, a key character in our uh, uh, in, in our history, in 1967, Yarinov uh, titled his summary lecture at the end of the Cold Spring Harbor Symposium on Antibody, Waiting for the End. Mm -hmm. He concluded, as this younger generation of professionals is pressing rapidly toward the definitive solution of the antibody problem, mm -hmm. we older amateurs had perhaps better sit back waiting for the end. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and in 1969, went in Australia in a meeting to celebrate Burnett's 70th birthday. Uh, he published a rather little cited paper in the Australian Annals of Medicine uh, under the title The Complete Solution of Immunology. Right. And he, uh, he, he, uh, he listed 20 questions about immunology that uh, could be asked. Mm -hmm. um, the remaining questions will be answered quite soon, and the answers will constitute the complete solution of, an, uh, of immunology. He wrote, uh, I wonder what scientists will be doing during the following following thousand years. In fact, I think they'll be doing nothing. Wow. Because all scientific knowledge worth knowing will be known. The mm. scientific era will draw to an end and will turn out to have been only a period of some hundred years in the history of humanity. <laughs> the end, uh, according to both Stanton, Yerna, and others, is to be preceded by an interval when everything interesting is known mm -hmm. and pragmatic people are, people are occupied in dull routines of tidying it all up. All up. Much la later, John Klein's conception of parts of current immunology in terms of completing an unneeded wall, just to, um, the story of the hunger wall, um, just to, to fill, fill in the little chips that are pretty uninteresting and dull that remain to be done. Um, Klein wrote, although several important questions still remain to be answered with regard to the genetic organization of the MHC, the astonishingly rapid progress of the molecular genetics of this system leaves no doubt that the answers will be provided between within the next few years. Another <laughs> prediction of the end. <laughs> it is as, as molecular genetics has raised the curtain on the final act of the MHC play. And as in every good play, this act is turning out to be short and packed with action. It truly was a good play, dead earnest most of the time, hilarious on occasion, thrilling all the time, seeing it near its end, and what its end one can't help but feel a sting of nostalgia for some of us. The play has become part of our lives. And after the last curtain call, we realize, undoubtedly, that something more than a good play is over. <laughs> the end of that thing. Yeah. But at the same time, then, people began to turn up other very interesting things, and yeah. it turns out that it, uh, it wasn't uh, at the end at all. In fact, there should be material for um, midwinter conferences for uh, exciting winters of immunology. Uh, far into the future. Yeah. Don't be misled, I say to young people, uh, by people, the old timers saying it's all over because that, that, that's happened before and it never <laughs> is true. And there'll be plenty of things for you yeah. to do when we're right. uh, yeah. out of the